What's going on? First day on the job, getting dressed. That's the uniform. That is definitely a look. <laughs> Those are clothes. Have a good day at work, bro. I'll be here napping. And then I raise my eyelids dramatically to show what a big day it is. <laughs> here we go. It's time. First day on the job, Demon Slaying. Where's the crow? <laughs> Poor Tanjiro, everything's happening so fast. I feel like this is one of those moments that will we'll feel better on rewatch in hindsight because he's in way over his head. He's got no knowledge at all if he'll ever be able to help Nezuko. It's a crazy world that he's just been thrown into really rapidly after losing his whole family. Although I guess he did train for two years in that one episode. Still, it's a lot to process. But little does he know, and I don't know this for sure, it's just my feeling, he's going to be the greatest thing to happen to Demon Slaying since Sun's swords <laughs> and Nezuko will be the greatest thing to happen in apps since the memory foam mattress episode six the swordsman and his demon companion i'm excited to start this journey officially every like ounce of this show has some kind of lore behind it Right, his turn black. They seemed a little bit dismayed when it changed color. <laughs> oh, there it is. That sentence. Yeah, this is his North Star. This is why we're doing this. Every <laughs> little thing. Alright, we got everything. We got the sword, we got the special uniform, we got the special wood. It's time. Nezuko doesn't want to leave the bed. Her sheets are made from the finest silk known as strato silk stuffed with dander from the fluffiest Hokkaido sheep to further reinforce warmth and sleep properties. With these sheets, not even lesser demons can wake you from your plot-related slumber. I know that feeling. I don't want to go to school today. But would she just turn into like a little, what? How tiny can she get? She like disappeared. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. Double shoulder pat. That's an advanced combo. Oh! Oh my- Oh my god! Just racking up the combo points. It's like a quadruple double fisted shoulder pat. I got chills. <laughs> Right, she recharges through sleep, not through consuming flesh. Though she does also want to consume flesh. I didn't even notice this at first glance, but when I went back to make the thumbnail for episode 2, she salivates when she sees the dead body, like a lot. I'm excited to be out in the world. Right, we have a mission. Young girls have been going missing. We've seen Kazumi before, right? His girlfriend got disappeared. You know what? Like, thinking about it now, this was set up so well. Forget being thrown into a world he wasn't prepared for. Tanjiro's best skill is keeping villages together. The people of his hometown were, like, infatuated with him. In fact, I'm pretty sure now that he's on the road, the town is just in flames and everyone is dead because no one could, like, tie their shoelaces without calling on Tanjiro. I feel like he actually is the kind of person where there would be no task too small. He seems to just like being in service to other people. In fact, I feel like that's actually way, way better suited for his personality than the demon slaying aspect of it, if that makes sense. Perhaps that's where his gifts will really shine. What happened that night? And how did he get, like, roughed up? Lean into it. Lean into the power of Tanjiro helping. Alright, well here's how he got injured. What's the significance of the red ribbon? We already established this, no? Why does he need so much reassurance? Something suspicious about how concerned he is. He just enjoys it. He just lives for this. He's alive right now. But demons can come inside your house. They don't follow vampire rules. I feel like you're about to find out. Suffer a similar fate. It's pretty horrifying. 
Did you smell that? I smell somebody being sucked into a demon lake. Oh my god, the guy's got hops. Is that from training? <laughs> I'm hoping to get more backstory on the Demon Slayer organization itself because it's this weird thing where it seems super essential but is also incredibly small, which could be a result of the fact that there's not a high survival rate for this position or that it's hard to find people qualified enough or that there are major threats to the organization and so it's got to stay somewhat small. Perhaps there's an advantage to keeping it secret so that they can sort of move in the shadows like the demons. How do you get to this demon though? It's like in another dimension, a very wet dimension. Tanjiro makes sense, seem like a really underrated sense. That is amazing that he just did that. Holy crap. Okay, who are you? Right, we got an abnormal. First day on the job too. Well, that is an annoying sound. <laughs> oh, please stop. Stop. It's a pretty good skill. It's like Shadow Boy in uh, My Hero Academia. <laughs> the music, though. Wait, this is a little bit confusing. For some reason, the way I interpreted it was that if you get exposed to demon blood and don't die, you also become a demon. But does this mean that it was only that one demon and this demon is like the origin demon and that that demon was the one that visited Tanjiro's house? Kibutsuji Muzan. Kibutsuji Muzan. Speaking of demons who will probably resemble humans, largely, in terms of behavior. He's got a hat and a suit. It's such a cool ability. They could also technically just turn the floor he's standing on into water, no? Right, right, it's not three demons. Maybe there's like a central demon, and the other two are just copies. <laughs> I like how that's an ability. You could talk this whole time? What was with those screeching noises? You're just trying to piss us off? Oh, okay, it's one of those pervert demons. I don't think he's been... No, stop with this. We don't need that. That's unnecessary. Oh god, they keep trophies. The red ribbon. There's the significance. That also explains how she just vanished. She just fell into their lake. Pervert lake. Just pissed Tanjiro off, yeah. Yeah, how do you defeat them? He's doing all this with his sister on his back, too. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, everyone reflects on the fact that they're different. He just pissed off Nezuko, too. Where's your crow? No, it's okay. She's a cute, she's a cute demon. She's a cute, friendly demon. <laughs> it's a very useful and powerful skill. <laughs> Somehow that axe kick ended up seeming more dangerous than Tanjiro's wave sword. It's made of wood, <laughs> the special pinsu, pinsu wood or whatever. I like how he says that like it's a compliment, but he's stuffing his sister in a box. Kibutsuji Muzan already? The special demon? So this puddle demon, while having some of the most annoying noises I've ever heard in anime, is a really cool concept, and I'm wondering how you defeat it. I feel like it's setting up really nicely for another one of the things the show's done really well so far, which is these sort of bite-sized mythological tales, if that makes sense. There's this water thing, how do you defeat that? It's not going to be a head-on fight, like either he has to use something about his water style or fight the demon on its own turf or something like that. And based on what I've seen from the show so far, it doesn't seem like the demons have just this random ability, right? There's something that connects it to their origin. So I'm guessing we'll find that out as we dive into this demon's backstory to close out the first chapter of Tanjiro's demon slaying career and the hundredth chapter in his being essential for a village's survival.